Hello and welcome to Radio Blase. As you heard from the jingle, I am Duke DeMont and I'm excited to be bringing you my brand new radio show where I get to play 100% of the records that I want to play. After 20 years of DJing, I hope to bring you some of the finest house music around. So here we are. Expect to hear new music from myself. Expect to hear old music from myself that you might not know. Expect to hear music that I play in my DJ sets when I'm touring around the world. Expect to hear some of the music from the best producers in the world. But most importantly, I feel this is music that you need to know. On this first episode, I will be in the mix with beats from Am I Edge and Dance, Adam Brax and Fred Falk, Radio Slave, Detron, Danny Days, Junior Jack, and a few tracks on me. Jumping right in with my latest release, which is a collaboration between myself, Purple Disco Machine, and Nothing But Thieves. This record started, it was sitting on my hard drive for maybe two, three years as a backing track. When I make music, I switch from making house records to disco records to making anything that I'm just inspired to make. What ends up happening is a lot of music ends up sitting on my hard drive because I don't know what to finish, I don't know what to release. So I tagged in Purple Disco Machine to help out with the production on the record. He then tagged in Nothing But Thieves, who ended up recording the song to it. And I'm just happy I managed to get another song from my hard drive out to you guys to be able to hear. So here is our brand new song, Something On My Mind. Stand by for Radio Blase. Oh, 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 
Radio Blase with Duke Demont. Duke to now, you got this boy, right on to now, yeah, but you thumb my body as a grab you to now, you got this boy, right on to now, yeah, but you thumb my body as a grab you to now, you got this boy, right on to now, yeah, but you thumb my body as a grab you to now, you got this boy, right on to now, yeah, but you thumb my body as a grab you to now, you got this boy, right on Thank you. 
wait a minute. This one right here goes out to all you ladies. Nah, not all you ladies. This goes out to some of y'all ladies. I'm talking about the hoochies. Oh, don't be looking at me like I'm crazy. I ain't no hoochie. Girl, let me tell you. Ladies, if you are a size 14, but all your dresses are a size 9, you are a hoochie. Yes, girl, a hoochie. Oh, wait a minute now. Ladies, if you grew 12 inches of hair in 10 hours, you a hoochie. You need to admit it, you a hoochie. Ladies. very own Danny Days. It's a song called Go Fam. I played it recently in New York at Mirage. I did a six hour set. I think I played it about the second hour in just to get the dance floor going. I absolutely love this record. You can hear that six hour set. It's up on SoundCloud and YouTube and whatever. He also did another record uh, years ago called Your Everything. Man, that was a good record. Might even play it next week, uh, if I remember. If I don't, uh, go check that out. Much respect to Sid Danny and what he does. Also, what we uh, recently played was a song called Mumble Man by myself. It's weird that that song seems to have stood the test of time. I made it before I even knew what Tech House was. I remember when I made a song called The Giver, I didn't know what Deep House was. I just just made the record. So Mumble Man, yeah, it's, it's an odd song. Got no idea what inspired me. I made it so long ago now. But yeah, it oddly still kind of fits in when I DJ sometimes. So time to introduce my record of the week. My record of the week is from an artist from down in Brazil called Mojak. You've probably seen him on Instagram, TikTok and all of that stuff. Him dancing and singing in the booth. He's tasting house music is second to none. He plays some, some great, great records. And the record he's recently made uh, is a song called Jealous. So Jealous samples a singer you may already know. You may not. And if you don't know, the singer is Lala Holloway, who is an absolute staple of house music. He's managed to create a backing track that is certainly respectful of the vocal. And that's why Mojak Jealous is my record of the week. Blasting Record of the Week.
finishing up that mix with a record from an artist called Namek, called Tribal Break. The record is so tried and tested, I must, uh, I must have played it in most of my sets this year. I remember playing it for the first time at EDC. Um, I think it was about the second or third track in, and I just kept on playing it ever, ever since. Weirdly, I, I bumped into him in San Francisco the other day. Um, he was backstage at a show I was playing. So it's nice to put a name to a face, and I'm excited to, to see what it comes up with next year. If you want to know all the tracks that I'm playing today, head over to my social media. I'll be posting the full track list up on there. If there's any particular song you like from one of the acts, uh, throw them a tweet. Throw them. Oh, it's not. I don't even think it's a tweet. What's it called now? An X? I don't know. I don't care either. But throw the original act a message. Do a hashtag. Radio Blase. Let them know where you heard the record um, and support and support the music. If there's a song you like, tell the artist that you like it. It goes a long way. It's nice to hear that people like their music, and a lot of artists don't hear it enough. So, any music you hear, contact the original artist and throw the hashtag Radio Blase. song called Robert's Talking. I made it around uh, 10 years ago, around uh, 2013, 2014. I think it was released in 2015. An interesting fact about this record, um, which I'm fairly sure nobody noticed um, in the song, but there's a part where Robert Owens talks about 606, 707, 808, 999, which are legendary drum machines used in house music from a company called Roland. You might not know what they are, but I guarantee you would have heard them in a show. You know, 999 is my favorite drum machine. But anyway, when he says 606, 707, 808, 999, the drum sounds that come on when he says them are actually the drum sounds. So he says 707, it's the 707. 808, it's the 808. Um, Yeah, it's extremely nerdy. Um, nobody would have noticed but me, but I like throwing little kind of Easter eggs um, occasionally in my music and, and what I do. I really like the record, I think it stood the test of time. It's not really a song I can DJ, but it's a piece of music. Um, I'm, I'm very proud of this record. When I first discovered house music, uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, let me try to think right quick. party probably and checking out some vibes and saying oh man what's that and they were saying oh this is some of that warehouse vibe and um, I went down there to check it out and I was like yeah this is cool but the main thing that I grasped from just being there was the unification in the party how everybody you know seemed like they was on one accord 
you know, everybody was there, you know, like one unit, you know, and all embracing each other and the music, you know, music box and so many other clubs, huh? and even over here in England, what was this, the Shoon and rip parties, confusion parties, uh, so it goes back a long, long way, this whole house thing. first experience, huh? that's what we were getting at, huh? you know, that's so fun, but the most um, important DJs at that, uh, in that early stage was definitely Frankie Knuckles and um, Ron Hardy and Larry LeVan, those were like the three inspirations for me coming up in the system, you know, I'm, I, I know it was many other great DJs back in that period as well, you know, and all due respect to all of them. Those are the main three that I actually had a, a close rapport with where, you know, I've been to their house, they've been to my house, and, you know, we've been in touch with each other, like, from a brotherly perspective, you know, so that's why um, I probably focus on, you know, mentioning those three brothers often in the system, you know, because I've had personal conversations with them, you know, where I've seen them outside of their artist kind of um persona, you know, I've seen them just ordinary, you know, but they were relaxed. This is Radio Blase.
90s rave inspired breakbeat called Are You Ready to Jack from German artists called Credit Zero Zero. I play it quite a lot that record and it's very polarizing on the dance floor. A lot of people don't like it. I think it's great. It's one of my favorite songs I play. I absolutely love rave stuff. I love those nostalgic sounds but it's not 4-4. Four four. It's very staggered kind of beat and those kind of beats sometimes leave the dance floor confused but I will continue to play those records I love one of my favourite songs at the moment even though it's been out for a long time another of the songs I played was a remix I did for Skin on Skin Burnham Bridges the only person to have this record is me because it was never released um, so that is an exclusive on this show and again I, I remember I've, I've played at EDC recently I probably play in my live show at Red Rocks I love the vocal on it it reminds me of home it reminds me of London I've been out of London now for about six years so um, it makes me feel a bit homesick when I hear that record 
Records that shaped house. I'm going to end every show with a feature called Records That Shaped House Music. This one is certainly personal to me. This is one of the songs that inspired me to start my journey into making music. This is a song by a couple of French lads that you might have heard of uh, called Daft Punk. And it's a record called The Funk. The reason why this record made such an imprint on what I do is when I used to live in the UK, growing up in the UK, we had on commercial radio, on commercial TV, dance music was always played. You would have new kids on the block next to an Armand Van Helden record. You would have Britney Spears alongside Daft Punk. And I'm grateful for that because we had a rich history of dance music from the 90s all the way up to, to the modern age because house music and dance music is so commonplace in the UK. And I remember seeing the video to The Funk on Top of the Pops. It stood out like a sore thumb. And then I was in a place called Virgin Megastore and I bought the CD to their live show. I think it was recorded in 1997 in Birmingham. And the intro to this live show is still my favorite intro in electronic music ever. If you are a Daft Punk fan, you consider you call yourself a Daft Punk fan. Go and listen to their live show from Birmingham in 1997. It is massively different to what they toured with when they did Coachella and the big show around the world. It's a lot more techno heavy. You can hear the records that they were releasing on uh, Soma Records around that time and you can definitely hear their early inspirations on that. It is such a masterpiece of electronic live and that, that's the thing that stood with me. That era around that time for me is my, my favourite era of Daft Punk. Discovery is still a masterpiece. It's, it's what will be known as the masterpiece. It's pop perfection. But, man, alive in Birmingham, 1997, it set me on my way. <laughs> 